Greetings dear listeners, my name is Michelle Chikowero and I am a Viz Honours Urban Planning student from Gauteng and welcome to my podcast Smart New Cities in Africa. Please stay tuned to the podcast and I hope that the podcast will be stimulating and enlightening for you listeners. I came across the concept of smart cities in a geography class and at first I was intrigued by the concept and how it was envisioned to look like. I believe I am more of a forward thinker and I am concerned and interested with the future of development in African cities. I think we have grappled with the urban challenges our African cities face, and hence I was interested to know what we are doing to address these challenges. And because smart cities are being considered as the cities of the future, I decided to focus my research on smart new cities in Africa so that I can explore the extent to which these models are applicable in our context which would to a certain extent determine what kind of cities we will have in the future. My podcast will be divided into four sections where I will commence by sharing the research focus by enlightening you on what smart cities are, where they are and giving you a brief introduction into Lanteria Smart City in Gauteng, South Africa and Echo Atlantic City in Lagos, Nigeria, which are my focus areas. The podcast will also tackle with the benefits and shortcomings of smart cities and then attempt to determine whether smart new cities are applicable in the African context and the podcast will conclude with conversations on smart new cities from different perspectives. As we go through this podcast, I am asking myself and you listeners at the back of your head to think of what is smart. Cities in Africa are growing at exponential rates and population growth is not necessarily matching economic and and infrastructure growth. Urbanization is progressively being recognized as one of the major challenges of the century. It is projected that by 2050, 75% of the world's population will live in cities. Most of this growth is centered in Africa and Asia. The capacity of cities to be ready for this curse by 2050 is of concern. Where will these people live and work? However, smart cities are being considered as a solution to this urbanization challenge. Although being considered as solutions to urbanization due to their ability to develop into smarter and more sustainable residential areas, smart cities have also been critiqued for their exclusionary factors such as being catered to high-income groups, promoting inequality and spatial fragmentation, infringing on people's privacy and being over ambitious development models. In consideration of these critiques, it is paramount to explore whether smart new cities are applicable in the case of Gauteng and Lagos based on their socio-economic context. Smart cities, eco-cities is the new rhetoric when describing future visions of African cities. Watson 2015 states that these plans of eco and smart cities should rather be termed fantasy cities because the vision of future cities does not correspond with the reality of the African context. For instance, the actuality of poverty and the infrastructure required to run smart cities. Hence, while exploring the urbanization conundrum in Africa, there is a need to establish whether smart cities are merely fantasy cities or maybe the solution to Africa's urbanization challenges. The rapid population growth raises questions about how these populations will be accommodated for in the future. The research is imperative because ensuing the trend of the construction of smart cities in Africa, there is a need to find out if these developments will work in our African context by determining whether smart new cities are applicable in the socio-economic context of South Africa and Nigeria. Hence, the aim of my project is to explore whether smart new cities should be constructed in Africa. My research question is examining the applicability of the smart new city development model in Gauteng and Lagos. The research sub-questions I will use to respond to my question is... Do smart new cities cater for different income groups? Do smart new city models integrate the informal economy? Do smart new cities tend to link and integrate with their existing context? Some of the key concepts that I will use throughout my research are based on urbanization, sustainability, smart new cities, enclave urbanism, inclusion, 
African urbanism and spatial transformation. Let me shed light to you listeners on what smart cities are. Over half of the world's population live in urban areas. Therefore, most of the resources are consumed in cities. Henceforth, cities produce the most harmful emissions. The term smart city denotes an instrumented, interconnected and intelligent city. The three pillars of smart cities are technology, people and community. The dissemination of ICT in the cities is meant to improve how the subsystems operate while this enhancing people's quality of life. Albina 2015 defines a smart city as utilizing all the obtainable technology and resources in a coordinated and intelligent manner to develop cities that are at once integrated, habitable, and sustainable. Smart cities are centers of higher education, skilled workforces, and better educated individuals. They act as attractions for creative workers and people which would make them smarter. The notion of being smart, skillful, creative and connected is a key element of knowledge-based urban development. The notion of smart cities arose as an amalgamation of ideas that portray how information and communication technologies may improve the operation of cities by improving their efficiency, competitiveness and providing new and creative conducts to address poverty, social deprivation and poor environments. Smart cities have emerged due to rapid population growth and growing migration to urban areas from rural areas. African cities are now following this trend of constructing smart cities following worldwide trends of this form of development. There is also global distress on the depletion of natural resources which may compromise the resources for future populations as well as compromise the environment while it's perpetuating climate change. Hence, there is reason and need to manage natural resources to ensure that they do not deplete and reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide while accommodating the rapid population growth. Hence, smart cities are concentrated on smart economies, governance, people, mobility, environment and quality of life to create better cities. The Sustainable Development Goals call for livable, sustainable, efficient and safe cities and these concepts have guided the smart city model. In smart cities, centers are embedded into the urban fabric. Smart cities are meant to reserve natural resources and infrastructure and they are based on the Internet of Things where the transmission of data is utilized to improve daily living. When describing the Singapore smart city, Chiyong Kunhin states that smart cities have cameras everywhere that can detect things such as growing crowds, litter, atmospheric conditions, and in these cities, one is able to pay electric bills, check their visa applications or on their mobile phones. In these cities, there are smart street lights, parking, parking sensors which tell a user where there is free parking space on one's mobile phone. There are also garbage sensors that keep odor away and these technologies decrease the amount of time people spend undertaking a particular activity. Smart cities are even able to improve the environmental quality by determining atmospheric conditions and strategically placing buildings and using building materials that promote good air quality. In smart cities, there exists clean energy through the use of carbon-free materials and green infrastructure. There are solar panels and harvesting systems. Additionally, urban farming is practiced and this all improves the quality of the environment. In some instances, smart cities will have driverless cars and can notify a person about congestion and the roads to avoid. Fundamentally, data is shared across different departments and citizens to make make life more efficient. Chiong Kunhin does state that these smart cities can also improve one's life expectancy and it is projected that by 2025 there will be 
88 smart cities in the world. There are various smart cities in the world in areas such as Singapore, Amsterdam, Berlin, New York, London, Munich, Mazda, and Songdo. In Africa, they are being developed in Ghana, Nigeria, Rwanda, Kenya, and South Africa, to name a few. According to Deloitte, on an Outside Inside article, the trend of smart cities in Africa is growing because of the rise of the African middle class who drive demand in an economy. The trend is also growing due to intense urbanization, large entrepreneurial mindsets amongst Africans and mobile connectivity. African mobile growth is one of the fastest in the world. In the 21 State of the Nation address, the President of South Africa announced that there would be a new smart city constructed in Gauteng, termed Lanseria Smart City. The smart city aims to accommodate up to 500,000 residents and there is emphasis on the smart city to use renewable energy, non-motorized transport and city-wide CCTV systems. The Business Insider says that the smart city needs to be compact with activities available within a 5 to 10 minute walk thereby reducing the need to commute the smart city there will be economic inclusion in the smart city which ensures that the demand for work is matched with with an adequate supply of jobs there is also an extensive focus on sustainability with proposals for power generation including waste to energy solar and biogas all buildings in the smart city will need to have a green star rating of between four and five. It is also proposed that the smart city will have an all-inclusive 5G connectivity for all residents and businesses. In Nigeria, the eco-Atlantic city began its initial construction phases around 2009 and is still an ongoing development with some phases being completed. Eco-Atlantic city is a privately funded new coastal city being built on Victoria Island adjacent to Lagos for 300,000 residents to solve the a chronic shortage of real estate in the mega city of Lagos and to help the erosion of the Lagos city coastline. It is a gateway to emerging markets of the continent and will comprise of 10 districts that will satisfy financial, residential, commercial, tourism accommodations in the city with infrastructure that is modern and complies to good environmental standards. Dear listeners, I hope you have been enlightened briefly on what's smart cities are and where they are in the world now please do join me for the next segment of my podcast on smart new cities in africa